Hello and good evening everyone and I welcome you all at the Saval classes for the preparation of Master Career English exam and today is going to be our first lecture for uh, the English MCQs, of the English MCQs. So I hope you all are ready with the preparation which you have done regarding the MCQs and uh, regarding obviously your exam and as today is our first lecture of the MCQs so all the best to all of you and I hope whatever we are going to do in these MCQs helps you in your exam. Okay? As I have told you in uh, earlier lectures as well that there are so many more things in the MCQs which get covered up from the exam perspective. And when the question comes to ma'am, how can we do this preparation? We are not understanding, we are not understanding, we are not understanding, so this MCQ is a level of level where I think that we start to get confidence when 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 we start to get confidence so we get that confidence that yes जो हम प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं वो हमें याद रह रहा है ठीक है सो आई वेलकम आई अगेन से आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द सावल क्लासेस फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश मास्टर केरियर एग्जाम एंड टुडे इज गोइंग टू बी आर फर्स्ट एमसीक्यूज लेक्चर राइट सो आई होप द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यू So this is the first question. This is the first question. Nay Manmeet. Kisa te koi comment ni bache. Parme hi. Dekho. It is not a comment. Actually, I'm telling you all that now you all will get confidence. Answers. So the first question is the fairy queen follows the style of or we can say ki fairy queen jo hai kaha se inspiration mili thi Spencer ko fairy queen dikhne ke liye. So the answer of this question is he followed the style of Orlando Furosio by Aristo. Yes. You all are right. The answer of first question is D. Fairy Queen follows the style of Orlando Furicio by Aristo. The second question is Who is the title character in the Jew of Malta? So, the title character, you all have read uh, Christopher Marlowe, right? And you All have read even the summary of uh, this play by Christopher Marlowe. So, the main character, the title character, who is the Jew, is Barabbas. Right? So, here I will say that here I will say that you 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 will say that Christopher Marlowe ka work hai, hai na? Ye bhi aapko already pata hi hai. So, this is a play written by Christopher Marlowe. So, the answer is A. Yes, you all are right. Very good. Keep it up. Then, the next question is, which is Spencer's First major poetic work, which is the first work written by Spencer. So the first work written by Spencer is, is it Fairy Queen, Epithelmion, Shepherd's Calendar or Amoretti? Yes, it is the Shepherd's Calendar. The answer that which is first work by Spencer is the Shepherd's Calendar. 
very good all of you so come to the next question spencer wrote a preface to the fairy queen in the form of a letter theek okay? hai spencer wrote a preface to the fairy queen in the form of a letter whom this letter is addressed to किसको लिखा था ये लेटर स्पेंसर ने प्रिफेस्ट जो लिखा था फेरी क्वीन का यस वेरी गुड यू ऑल आर एब्सोल्यूटली राइट इट वाज रिटन टू वॉल्टर रेले वेरी गुड कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज who called marlowe's blank verse as the mighty line and you all are again aware of it who called marlowe's blank verse as the mighty line it was marlowe ki mighty line ko blank verse kisne bola tha yes it is ben johnson very good the answer is b bachche aur zyada zoom karu let me try par zoom karne se thoda aur blur ho raha tha is it clear to all of you now i hope it's good right Moving on to the next question how many books of the fairy queen were actually planned by edmund spencer and i hope again you all are aware of that ki spencer ne likhi six books par actual mein plan kitni kari thi usne jaise hum geoffrey chaucer pe baat karte hain theek hai hamare syllabus mein nahi hai par wahan pe bhi hum Uh, जो है कईयों ने आपने पढ़ा होगा द कैंटरी टेल्स कि उसने इतनी टेल्स प्लान करी थी पर वो लिख इतनी ही पाया तो सेम बात जो है फेरी क्वीन में भी हुई कि स्पेंसर ने प्लान तो बहुत सारी करी थी लेकिन वो कंप्लीट सिक्स बुक्स ही कर पाया तो हाउ मेनी बुक्स इन टोटल ही हैड प्लान यस वेरी गुड दे वर ट्वेंटी फोर बुक्स सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज एक्चुअली दिस शुड बी सी है ना दिस शुड बी सी मैंने दोनों को बी लिख दिया ए बी सी एंड डी तो द करेक्ट आंसर इज 24 बुक्स 24 बुक्स प्लान करी थी एडमंड स्पेंसर ने फेरी क्वीन की बट ही कुड कंप्लीट ओनली सिक्स बुक्स राइट देन वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द सोनेट इन इंग्लैंड हु इंट्रोड्यूस द सोनेट इन इंग्लैंड Who introduced the sonnet in England? I'm waiting for your answer. Was it Thomas Watt and Earl of Surrey, Thomas Norton, Thomas Sackville, or William Shakespeare? Yes, Ruhi, you're right. Sandeep, very good. Sunaina, very good. Jagdeep, Arzu, very good. Taksh, yes. The answer A is correct. The sonnet. was introduced in england by thomas watt and earl of surrey right then moving on to the next question who is known as english england's national poet and i guess nothing could be easier than this question who is known as england's national poet edmund spenser was it william shakespeare geoffrey chaucer or philip sidney this is philip sidney you can correct the spellings something was missing philip sidney yes b is right william shakespeare is known as england's national poet right moving on to the next question Ninth question is, what is the correct rhyme scheme of Shakespearean sonnet? Do you all have to tell me which is the correct rhyme scheme of Shakespearean sonnet? Is it A B B A A B B A C D E C D E A B B A A B B A C D C C D C A B 
ab ab cd cd ef ef gg or ab ab cd cd ef g ef g yes it is c the answer c is correct ab ab cd cd ef ef and gg right moving on to the 10th question who completed marlowe's hero and leander thomas nash kisne madad kari thi marlowe ke hero and leander ko khatam karne mein george chapman thomas kidd or george peel so the correct answer is option number b yes it was completed by george chapman thomas nash ne bhi uska ek work complete kara tha hai na to confuse nahi hona theek hai wo ek drama tha aur ye ek poem hai hero and leander theek hai then the next question is how many sonnets are there in amoretti arzu you are you are again giving the wrong answer how many sonnets are there in amoretti 88 you do, you are not going to commit this mistake i have corrected you many times i have told you many times ki swaran 89 likha hua hai aur kai books 89 likha hua hai but the correct number is 88 okay remember that arzu harmeet you also are saying 89 we have already discussed about it no the correct answer is 88 the correct answer is 88 right but uh, i have already told that that was a mistake but actually it was 88 yes they are 88 only who is known as the second father of english poetry who is known as the second father of english poetry william shakespeare philip sidney edmund spenser or christopher marlowe so it is spenser yes the second father of english poetry is edmund spenser and who is the first father then who is the first father of english poetry first father of english poetry is means the father of english poetry actually first use nahi karna hai na humne saath mein it was geoffrey chaucer theek hai now we come to the next question What is the full title of Dr. Foster's complete title of the play Dr. Foster's written by Christopher Marlowe? Is it the tragical death of Dr. Foster's, the life and death of Dr. Foster's, the tragical history of the life and death of Dr. Foster's, or the tragedy of Dr. Foster's? Yes. So the option C is correct. It is. the tragical history of the life and death of dr foster's now we move on to the next question who said the following line one may smile and smile and be a villain is it said by othello hamlet king lear or julius caesar who is the speaker of this line in the drama in the shakespearean drama one may smile and smile and be a villain was it said by othello hamlet king lear or julius caesar it was said by hamlet the correct answer is b it was said by hamlet right in the play hamlet okay then the next question is amoretti memorizes Spencer's again there is a mistake in the spellings Amoretti memorizes Spencer's courtship and ultimately marriage to Elizabeth Boyle Elizabeth Taylor 
एलिजाबेथ और एलिजाबेथ ब्राउनिंग या ये क्वेश्चन इस तरीके से भी आपको आ सकता है कि एमोरेटी जो है किसको डेडिकेट करी थी स्पेंसर ने तो इट वॉज ही डेडिकेटेड इट टू हर ओन वाइफ एलिजाबेथ बॉयल ठीक है इट वॉज स्पेंसर ओन वाइफ Elizabeth Boy, yes, very good, all of you. You all remember them, these answers very carefully. So moving on to the next question, question number sixteen. To whom was the Shepherd's Calendar dedicated? Spencer dedicated the Shepherd's Calendar to Geoffrey Chaucer, Philip Sidney, Thomas Watt, or Shakespeare. To whom did Spencer dedicate the Shepherd's Calendar? The correct answer is B. Yes, it is B. Very good. He dedicated the Shepherd's Calendar to Philip Sidney. Very good. Very good. I'm so impressed by all of you that you all have come with quite a good preparation. Now moving on to. The next question, but is question number seventeen is missed by chance? The numbering is uh, a little bit mistaken, so you can regard this, consider this as question number sixteen. So the question is, who was the murderer of Christopher Marlowe? We all know that Christopher Marlowe was murdered, stabbed by someone in a brawl. So was it Thomas Kidd? Ingram Fraser, Ingram Fernandez, or Thomas Nash? He was murdered by. Yes, the correct option is B. He was murdered by Ingram Fraser, right? Then next question is, which is considered to be the longest play of William Shakespeare? You all know that very well. Which is considered to be the longest play of William Shakespeare? That play is Julius Caesar, Romeo and Juliet, Antony and Cleopatra, or Hamlet, which is the longest play. I've told you in a lecture. Yes, Hamlet is considered to be the longest play by William Shakespeare. Right? Then we move on to the question number twenty. Which part of Dr Foster's which part of Dr Foster's is written in prose because some of the parts of this play was written in verse so now you have to tell me that which part was written in prose comic scenes chorus tragic scenes or melodramatic scenes yes christopher marlowe wrote the comic scenes of dr foster's in prose right so before moving on to the next question i want to make an announcement for all of you as this is our open lecture aur mcqs ke ab aaj hamara ye pehla lecture hai maine aapko shuru mein hi bataya aage hamare aise mcqs ke lecture roz ab chalenge aur wo open lectures honge theek hai matlab jo ki uh, unpaid jo uh, youtube pe jo hai dale jayenge so that All the students can uh, take help from these lectures for the preparation of their exams. Or, साथ ही कुछ ही दिनों में हम हमारा paid group जो है master cadet English की preparation का दोबारा से शुरू करने जा रहे हैं. तो जो भी बच्चे इस group को join करना चाहते हैं, तो जो आपके screen पे जो भी numbers flash हो रहे हैं, उनमें आप जो है कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं स्पेशली दीपक सर से आप कांटेक्ट करके जो भी आपकी क्वेरी है पेड ग्रुप के नए पेड ग्रुप के बारे में आप उनसे जो है बात कर सकते हैं एंड गेट योर सेल्फ एनरोल्ड एंड वील बी अगेन हैविंग द लाइव लेक्चर्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ मास्टर के तो एग्जाम राइट so this is the answer to this question moving on to the next question 
In which play written by Shakespeare you can find this famous quote? The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from the heaven. I think I can get the answer of this quote before even giving the options. So the options are here. The options are is it Merchant of Venice, Othello, Midsummer's Night Dream or as you like it? Yes, it is taken from the Merchant of Venice. Very good. Moving on to the next question. Which virtue is symbolized? Question number 22. Which virtue is symbolized by the character of Sir Artigal in the Fairy Queen? Which virtue is symbolized by the character of Sir Artigal in the Fairy Queen? Temperance, courtesy, justice or chastity? Yes, the option C is correct. It is justice. Sir Artigal symbolizes the virtue of justice in the Fairy Queen. Now we move on to question number 23rd. Name the famous theatre which was established in 1599. The globe, the rose, the curtain or the swan? Which was the famous theatre which was established in 1599? The correct answer is, it is the globe. Option number A. Very good. Then the next question number 24 is, what is Dr. Faustus's ambition? What is Dr. Faustus? Ambitious about? Is he ambitious about gaining power, gold, about gaining infinite knowledge, or he is ambitious about gaining supernatural powers? Christopher Marlowe ke her play me hamuski character ko dekh rahe hai that uh, the character wants to acquire more and more of something, a particular cheese, you know. So, here Dr. Foster's kya cheese paana chata hai? He wants to gain infinite knowledge. Some people are answering gaining power, gold or supernatural powers. Okay, bache, play jab hum padhte hai, to wahan pe hume kahi na kahi hint milta hai ki haan powerful hona chata hai, wo kahi ye bhi lagta hai ki wo supernatural powers. Lekin agar aap dhyan se padhe, to wo bohat baar mephistophilistic questions karta hai. है ना और वो क्वेश्चंस क्या करता है दैट हाउ हाउ हेल लुक्स लाइक व्हाट इज हेल ठीक है हाउ सैटर्न लुक्स लाइक ठीक है तो वो कंपैरिजन मुझे यूनिवर्स दिखाओ है ना और मुझे यहां लेके जाओ मुझे यहां लेके जाओ तो और शुरू में भी देखो दैट व्हेन वी रीड अबाउट हिम व्हेन द प्ले बिगिंस ही सिटिंग इन हिज स्टडी एंड ही a thinking कि मैंने medicine पढ़ लिया, मैंने law पढ़ लिया, मैंने religion पढ़ लिया, मैंने जो है इतना कुछ और जो है पढ़ लिया, अब मेरे लिए और क्या रह गया? तो वहाँ से ही idea आपको होना चाहिए that what he wants to, what he is ambitious about. Yes, Arzu, he learns necromancy, he acquires black magic जब वो अपनी soul जो है एक तरह से गिरवी रख देता है, है ना? For 24 years of infinite pleasure. But वहाँ पे आपके ये answer का. अब देखो, ऐसे ही सवाल हैं जहाँ पे हमें छोटे-छोटे देखो. या पहले में मैंने लिखा about gaining power. मैंने last में लिखा about gaining supernatural power. तो confusion होएगी होएगी. लेकिन अगर हम जैसे मैंने शुरुआत का वाला example दिया कि जब वो भी study में बैठ के सोच रहा है that I have to decide that what I I am going to study next. ठीक है? इतना कुछ मैं पढ़ चुका। अब मेरे लिए क्या बाकी रह गया? तो he is ambitious about gaining infinite knowledge. Right? This is the correct answer of this question. Right? Then we move on to next question. Question number twenty-five. Question number twenty-five. Which of these was the most loved daughter of King Lear? And very easy question. Was it Goneril, Regan, Elizabeth or Cordelia? Who was the most loved daughter of King Lear? 
most loved daughter of king lear king lear had three daughters yes very good it is cordelia theek hai sabse choti sabse largely theek hai cordelia was the youngest and cordelia was the beloved daughter of king lear next question is which of these are correct years of the publication of the fairy queen which of these are correct years of the publication of fairy queen fairy queen do parts mein publish hui thi kaun kaun se yes very good students very good sandeep pimple manpreet it was published first in 1590 and then in 15 96 yes first to three part first to third part in 1590 and fourth to sixth book or part in 1596 very good i'm very much impressed and i feel so happy that you all are preparing you are all are doing such hard work next is who is gloucester's illegitimate son edgar albany edmund or kent Who is Gloucester's illegitimate son in King Lear? In the play King Lear, yes, very good. It is Edmund. Edgar was his legitimate son, and Edmund was his illegitimate son. Very good. You all are right. Edgar was his legitimate son, bache. Those who are answering Edgar. you just you are just confused with the words with the alphabet because they both are starting with e hai na don't worry theek hai in which year was shakespeare born yes very good it was in 1564 very good he was born in the year 1564 then the next question is How old was Marlow when he died? He was twenty-seven, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, or thirty. How old was Christopher Marlow when he was stabbed when he was murdered? Yes, the question number is twenty-nine, and he was twenty-nine. Hey na? Then moving on to the next. question question number 30 and the question is i am a jew hath not a jew eyes who says this in merchant of venice by writing merchant of venice i have made it easy for you hai na so even if th this line is written so you can guess it easily that who says i am a jew hath not a jew eyes Antonio, Shylock, Bassanio, and Portia. And obviously, this is the easiest, most that it was Shylock who said this. Who wrote the history of King Lear? Who wrote the history of King Lear? Nahum Tate, Edward Bond, Shakespeare, or G. B. Shaw? Who wrote the history of King Lear? Nahum Tate, Edward Bond, Shakespeare, or G. B. Shaw? It was Nahum Tate. right the correct answer is option number a nahum tate those who have answered it correct very well done next is question number 32 which is the source of macbeth humne baat kari thi ki shakespeare ke works ke kuch sources hote hain jahan se usne apne dramas ke liye material jo hai liya hai so you have to tell me that which is the source of macbeth the chronicles of england scotland and ireland by rafael holinshed plutarch's lives holinshed chronicles or gesta denorum yes very good those who have answered c the option c is the correct answer of this question that the source of macbeth was holinshed's chronicles question number 33 What name is taken by Portia when she enters the court as a young daughter of young doctor of law? When Portia in the Merchant of Venice, she in order to save 
एंटोनियो है ना ताकि शायलॉक उससे अपना जो बॉन्ड ना ले पाए उसकी बॉडी में से पाउंड ऑफ फ्लैश ना ले पाए तो वो क्या नेम अपना रखती है इज इट फिलिप इज इट यूक्रीज इट इज बॉल्सार और बिलेरियो जी इज इट फिलिप ल्यूक्रीज बॉल्सार और बिलेरियो वट नेम डज पोर्शिया टेक येस इट इज आंसर ऑप्शन सी सी टेक्स द नेम ऑफ बॉल्सार बॉल्सार बन के जाती है वो जब वो लॉयर बन के जाती है एंटोनियो को चाइल्ड के शिकंजे से उसके बॉन्ड से जो है बचाने के लिए एंड वेन शी क्लेवरली टर्न द टेबल और सारी की सारी बात जो है शायलॉक पे ही डाल देती है और उसको जो है अब पसीने छुटवा देती है राइट हु स्पीक्स इन दिस लाइन इन मैक शेक्सपियर मैकबर्न फ्यर इज फाउल एंड फाउल इज फ्यर लेडी मैकबर्न से इज दिस विच इज से दिस बैंक यू और मैलकम हु इज द स्पीकर ऑफ दिस लाइन Fear is foul and foul is fear. Lady Macbeth, which is thank you or Malcolm. Haan ji, I'm waiting for your answers. Fear is foul, foul is fear. Who is the speaker? Yes, those who have answered B, which is the which is say this. Fear is foul, foul is fear. Which play of Shakespeare is the most filmed one? I told you in one of the lectures कि शेक्सपियर का एक ऐसा ड्रामा जिसपे बहुत मूवीज बनी है ठीक है सिंड्रेला की तरह इज इट किंग क्लियर ओथेलो जूलियस सीजर और हेमलेट किंग क्लियर ओथेलो जूलियस सीजर और हेमलेट बनी सब पे है बच्चे आप गूगल खोल के देखोगे आप यूट्यूब खोल के देखोगे आपको सब पे Uh, कोई ड्रामा मिल जाएगा स्टेज ड्रामा परफॉर्म होते हुए आपको मूवी भी मिल जाएंगी किंग लियर पे भी ओथेलो में भी ओथेलो में हिंदी में भी बनी है ठीक है विशाल भारद्वाज ने ओंकारा नाम से बनाई है क्योंकि वो अडेप्टेशन करते हैं वो एज इट इज जो है मूवी uh, नहीं बनाते ठीक है लेकिन सबसे ज्यादा तो द आंसर इज डी हेमलेट इज द प्ले बाय शेक्सपियर जिसपे सबसे ज्यादा मूवीज बनी है दुनिया में हिंदी में भी बनी है अगर आप लोगों ने हैदर देखी है तो हैदर इज आल्सो एन अडेप्टेशन ऑफ हेमलेट और अडेप्टेशन में मैंने एक दिन शायद आपको बताया भी था कि फर्क क्या होता है अडेप्टेशन में जो डायरेक्टर फिल्म डायरेक्टर है वो थोड़ी बहुत मॉडिफिकेशन अपने हिसाब से करता है ठीक है कि हेमलेट को इंडिया के अकॉर्डिंग दिखाना है ठीक है तो उन्होंने जो है हैदर बना दी ठीक है बच्चे रिमेंबर दैट जिनको भी अच्छे से इसका आंसर नहीं पता है तो आंसर इज हेमलेट देन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू होम डिट शेक्सपियर डेडिकेट हिज सॉनेट्स ही डेडिकेटेड द सॉनेट्स टू विलियम हेनरी हेनरी राइट्सले विलियम हर्बर्ट और अकॉर्डिंग टू स्पेकुलेशन बोथ ए एंड बी विच वन इज राइट यस दो That D is correct exactly क्योंकि स्पेकुलेशन के मुताबिक इन दोनों बंदों के नाम आते हैं ठीक है ज्यादातर उन्होंने सिर्फ ये इनिशियल यूज करे हैं डब्ल्यू एच तो ये कह दिया जाता है कि इट माइट बी हेनरी राइट्सले और विलियम हर्बर्ट तो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बोथ ए एंड बी मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन Which of these characters doesn't appear in Doctor Foster's? Mephistopheles, Lucifer, Old Man, Good and Evil Angel. Which character doesn't appear? जिसकी कोई appearance नहीं है. Yes, that is Lucifer. बच्चे, Old Man is a character which is appearing in. डॉक्टर फॉस्टर्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट इट कि ओल्ड uh, मैन जो था वो भी गुड एंजल की तरह फॉस्टर्स को समझाने आया था रोकने आया था दैट यू शुड नॉट गो ऑन दिस इविल पाथ ठीक है 
लूसीफर के साथ वो अपना बॉन्ड साइन करता है लेकिन अपियरेंस नहीं होती लूसीफर की क्योंकि वो बॉन्ड मफिस्टोफिलस को दे दिया जाता है कि वो जाके लूसीफर को दे दे ठीक है तो जो डायरेक्ट एक्चुअल अपियरेंस जो है इन कैरेक्टर्स की है बट लूसीफर इज नॉट अपियरिंग इन द प्ले ये ध्यान से याद रखेंगे एन ओल्ड मैन इज अ कैरेक्टर और एलिगोरिकली गुड एंजल और ओल्ड मैन सेम चीज को सिंबलाइज कर रहे हैं कि वो फॉस्टर्स को समझाने आए थे या उसके जो है कॉन्शियंस को जगाने के लिए आते हैं तो टेल हिम दैट यू शुड गो ऑन द राइट ट्रैक राइट देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट इज इन हूज सर्च द नाइट वॉन्डर इन द फेरी क्वीन किसको ढूंढ रहे हैं नाइट जो है फेरी क्वीन में इज इट एलिजाबेथ डायना ग्लोरियाना और आर्टिकल हां जी आरजू मैंने नोट्स में ये दोनों नाम ही लिखवाए हैं ठीक है इसीलिए डी सही था ना यस दे आर सर्चिंग क्वीन ग्लोरियाना दे आर इन द सर्च ऑफ ग्लोरियाना सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन वट डज एपीथेलियन मीन द ब्राइडल चेंबर द वेडिंग डे द ब्राइड और द ब्राइड रूम वट डू यू मीन बाय एपीथेलियन इट मीन्स ब्राइडल चेंबर the wedding day the bride and the bridegroom very good very good all of you it means the bridal chamber right and the last question for today is on whose double wedding was prothelmion written by spencer on whose double wedding was prothelmion written by spencer elizabeth and gloriana ki shaadi पे लिखी थी ग्लोरियाना एंड कैथरीन की शादी पे एलिजाबेथ एंड कैथरीन या वर्जीनिया एंड ग्लोरियाना की जो वेडिंग पे लिखी थी यस ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एलिजाबेथ एंड कैथरीन की वेडिंग जो डबल वेडिंग पे जो है उनको डेडिकेट करते हुए ये पोएम स्पेंसर में लिखी थी ठीक है एंड बिकॉज All these three writers, Christopher Marlowe, Shakespeare, and uh, Spencer, they are very important writers. And still, there are questions uh, which we can discuss in MCQ. So, uh, in the next lecture, I will again be including some of uh, these uh, writers. Uh, Marlowe ke question ho sakte hain, Shakespeare ke bhi ho sakte hain. Aur main aise karti rahungi. Aage aane wale MCQs mein, shayad main. वापस से जो पुराने राइटर्स उनमें से कुछ ना कुछ फिर निकाल के क्वेश्चन ताकि आपका लिंक सा बना रहे मैं वो जो है बीच बीच में जोड़ती जाऊंगी ठीक है तो अब अगले लेक्चर के लिए जो है आप इनको जो है तैयार रखें और उसके बाद जो हमारे नेक्स्ट जो राइटर्स आ जाते हैं उनको भी प्रिपेयर करते रहे ताकि हमारे एम जो है इस तरीके से चलते रहेंगे ठीक है तो कीप प्रिपेयरिंग योर सेल्स एंड uh we will keep having uh, these mcq sessions every day and aaj jo hamara first lecture tha to i just planned for 40 questions and hopefully we'll be having almost 50 like uh, 50 questions every day in this mcq session and i'm really glad i feel so good that you all are like preparing so well aap sabko yaad hain bahut sari cheeze theek hai choti moti galtiyan लेकिन देखना अब ये एमसी की उसके बाद आपको वो चीजें और भी अच्छे से याद रहेंगी जहां पे आपने गलती करी अगली बार नहीं होगी वो गलतियां है ना तो जस्ट कीप प्रिपेयरिंग योर सेल्स और जैसा मैंने बोला कि अगर किसी की कोई क्वेरी है तो आप प्लीज जो आपके स्क्रीन पे नंबर्स आ रहे हैं दीपक सर को आप जो है कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हैं और हम वापस से अपना पेड ग्रुप जो है शुरू करने वाले हैं नया पेड ग्रुप जो है तो जो स्टूडेंट्स चाहते हैं खुद को एनरोल करवाना तो दे कैन कॉन्टैक्ट दीपक सर और खुद को एनरोल करवा लें उस पेड ग्रुप में और ये जो हमारे एमसीक्यूज़ हैं वो सारे के सारे जो हैं ओपन चलेंगे 
uh, they will be like open to all the YouTubers, uh, you, uh, YouTube uh, viewers, you know, so, so that uh, they can also uh, take help from these sessions. So I just can say that uh, all the best to all of you. Keep preparing so well and Aaj pehla session tha and I feel so happy and I feel so proud that yes, uh, jo umeed thi, wo umeed pe aap sab khare hain, hai? Thank you so much and uh, keep preparing well. But next, jo, uh, Elizabethan age ke baad, agle jo writers hain, unhe prepare kariye bas. Hanji Baljinder, but a paid group lay, you can contact Deepak sir. Ya ye jo aapke screen pe jitne bhi numbers aa rahe hain, unme aap jo hai, uh, kisi bhi number pe contact kar sakte hain, jo bhi aapki query hai paid group ke regarding. We'll be starting it in few days. But a next class, next MCQ session will be tomorrow. Same time, almost 6 or 6.15 we'll start, right? So, now I am ending the lecture. Thank you so much everyone and all the best to all of you for your preparation. Thank you and have a good day.